Hey YouTube, so today we're going to compare Meguiar's Yellow Tech Paste Wax versus Riot's Garage uh, Best Show Paste Wax. So, the car has been washed, clayed, and I wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol. And, um, we're going to use two separate towels not to contaminate anything. And two brand new applicator pads. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so while these both dry, I want to talk about how, um, how they they both apply very easily. Um, very, um they both take very little wax. Um, the Grayot's Garage, the best show wax that t that actually smells really really good. Um, that one also comes with an applicator pad. Um, so this did not. Um, so I had to buy that. Um, that's not usually a big deal. Yeah, because they both so cheap. Um. Applicator pads are pretty cheap. Um, the Best of Show Wax smelled a lot better than the um, Yellow Tech Paste Wax did. Um, they both, yeah, super easy to apply, very little. So that's what, the less you use, the better waxes you have to use a lot less. So that's when you know it's good. Um, they both cost, I mean, that was like 23 and some change after tax. They should probably look at a little bit under 20. Um, just depends. But, I mean, that's, you can find an advanced auto parts. This one's going to be a little bit harder to find. Um, but, again, both of them are on Amazon, so you just go that way. It's a lot easier. Um, let's see if they're both, both ready. So that actually just, the um, Yellow Tech Paste Wax dries very quickly. And, yep, so did the great um, Vista Show Wax. Um, yeah, so I'm going to wipe them off now. Um set this on the stand. Um, for the clean side of the towel. Um, let's say the best, wow. Like butter. That is super easy to come off. It's amazing. Okay, wow, that is super easy. I forgot, I love this stuff. <laughs> this stuff's awesome. Any wax that comes off like this is amazing. Like, I, oh, turtle wax. Like, the way that their waxes just do not want to come off. You put them on, and then they're like cement trying to get them off. Wow, that is amazing. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, it feels. That's the best part about when you wax your car, how smooth the paint feels afterwards. Because I mean, if you don't have any contaminants, that's why you want to clay. Clay gets out of all the roughness in the paint, anything that's stuck and bottom to the paint. Let's do it again on this side. They both dry very, very quickly. Maybe five, ten minutes tops. Wow. Yeah, super easy to come off. Um, but I gotta hand it to the Griots. The Griots best to show wax. Is that there's nothing that's gonna beat that with how easy it comes off. It's just so simple. Wow. I mean, not like this was very hard to get off either. Because these are both n nice waxes. When you're looking at a $20 plus dollar wax, you're looking at a, something that should come off fairly simple. Okay, that's amazing. Before I do the water test, I do want to say, like, for ease of application and how easy it is to apply and take off, the Groot's Garage is just not going to be beatable. So that one's in that category. It wins in the smell category. Um, it is funny. Let me show you on camera. Just the, the size difference. So this is 9.5 ounces and this is 11 ounces. So I mean, that is something to consider. But again, you're going to use so little of this stuff. I mean, you're going to use so little of both. But this, I feel like you could use a lot less. Because on this one, you're going to end up using a little bit more just um the weight spreads out you'll when, you'll feel it when you spread it out so i mean this one uses less so i mean even though it's nine ounces and it costs more quality wax is always going to cost more and they usually give you a little bit less but that's when you know it's really really good i mean this is awesome stuff all right let's do a water test first i'm just going to show you from this, that angle wow
This side beads better, but the McGuire's like the beads look better over here on the grips, but on the um, McGuire side, they, it runs off a lot faster. You can see it right here in the middle where I didn't do it, how slow it is to come off. This strip right here in the middle didn't have the wax on it. Let's do it one more time. That is crazy. Uh, yeah. Alright, so this is the Griots, and that's gonna be the um yellow tech paste wax from McGuire's. Now it's hard to tell because of the black and the way the sun's hitting it. But watch this. So the, the uh, Yellow Tech Wax does the best job at just, it runs off. Like see right here? Right here? It runs off. But. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. So with the yellow tech wax, you get it. You get the typical. Like, so there's barely any water. Like, a couple drops. And see in the sun? That's all the beating from the griots. So. I would have to say in this head-to-head. -head, um. It's, I'm going to choose the best to show wax, just because I like how easy it is to apply, and I feel like you're getting a bigger bang for your buck, and it depends what you want. I usually, I like to see beading more than most people, because to me the beading, like when you're driving and the rain hits, the beading is going to get off better, but if you want sheeting, it's the yellow tech paste wax, but I like the beading more, because that usually shows it's going to be more durable in the end because it usually to me it goes from beating to like a sheeting effect and the sheeting to me is like when the like is like the second step of a wax the beating is what you really want first and the look at the tight beads from the gray outside i mean they're tight over here but better over here Yellow Tech Grits Garage. Okay, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to, at the end of this, I'll put in links um, for the, some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscri uh, subscribe and have a great day. Thanks.